Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to another episode here on our FTB Continuum. Uh, now, last episode, towards the end, we did find a bit of a mineshaft, and I said I was going to explore that probably in the next episode, and so today, here we are. Uh, so there is the mineshaft just down there, as you can see. Now, I'm hoping to get a lot of goodies from that. Um, in particular, I'd really like to get a name tag, and then we can name the dog uh, officially. Obviously, we did that unofficially in the last episode. Um, or was it two episodes ago, maybe? Um, I can't remember now. Uh, but anyway, whatever that was, and hopefully some other, you know, um, rare sort of drops as well that you only get from uh, mineshaft chests and that sort of thing. Um, so I've created a bit of a base here, so we can go down our ladder. I love how fast you get on the uh, the ladders in modded. Um, so we've got a door out to the main way there, and then just a little base here to sleep in, um, and some just rough storage, just a couple of bits that I already got. Um, I've also made up some of these. Um, so I'll just show you really quickly if we go to the uh, backpacks. Um, the mining backpack, um, we just need a bit of wool and iron along with a chest and string. And the digging backpack, uh, similar recipe but with stone instead of iron. So they're pretty easy to make and each one of them gives you an extra 15 slots. Now because it's a mining backpack and a digging backpack, you can of course only put certain things in there. So in the digging I can put things like dirt and cobblestone and that sort of thing. And in the mining that's where I can put my ores. Uh, but having that uh, sort of stuff, it just has me pretty like geared up for our mining trip. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to take those on me and I've got a lot more inventory space. Also got a lot of sharpening kits and torches. Got some water, I've got some food on me of course. So I'm pretty geared up and ready to go I would say for, uh, for what we're going to do here. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of put this in a bit of a better order than what it is. Get our food maybe a bit more out of the way. And we're ready to go. Um, so I had a brief look around this ravine. Oh. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Whew. Okay. Um, Something about creepers, like, it's just the damage they can do, I think. Like, dying is bad enough, but, um... Oh, what's happening now? Okay, so, one thing I have noticed, not just right now, but just in general, is this ravine is absolutely swarming with mobs. Um, so, let's have some cherry juice. I think that guy's burning up right now. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty mad down here. Um, right, let's get rid of this dude. Aha. Um, okay. I think we're good for... Oh, there's a zombie coming now. Anyway, basically all I was going to say is it looks like this is a pretty good ravine. I want to go and light it up as uh, for reasons that have become obvious in the last few seconds here. And I want to go and explore. Now, I won't show you guys all of it, but um, I'll just kind of do a little catch up at the end and we can see all the resources that we get. And I'll do a little catch up along the way. If I come to uh, a loot chest, then we'll have a little explore of that together. So uh, let's do some updates and see how we go. All right, guys. Well, I think I found a safe place to do this uh, recording. This place is absolutely crazy, <laughs> which is why you'll see I've gone and geared up and got myself a full set of armor because uh, I was I died about three or four times, um, and it wasn't actually just because of mobs. I was kind of falling everywhere because uh, we're like right in a ravine here as well, right? So yeah, it's a bit of bit of chaos. But um, so I've got full iron now, which is good. Uh, I can protect myself a little bit, um, and also um, I found something cool. Well, actually, two cool things. Um, so let's just go over here because I found my first loot chest. So I've lit the area up around here so that I can hopefully look through this uh, whilst recording uh, without being attacked by mobs. So let's see what we get in here. Oh, we've got a name tag. Yes, I wanted one of those so we can name um, our dog. Um, we've got a broken pickaxe, some search quartz, pumpkin seeds, and some rail. Not the best, not the worst. Um, and I'll pick that up just because otherwise I'll keep thinking that I haven't looked in there yet and that will just troll me. So the other thing I found just over here, we got a dungeon. Now I'm not sure which one it is. Um, and somewhere, hang on, let's just go this way a second. I feel like something's about to drop down on me. Uh, I'm trying to look around because somewhere I do have, oh, there we go, another dungeon. So 160 that way. I found that one earlier while I was uh, doing just some general mining. That, uh, from memory, I think that was a zombie dungeon. Um, and I haven't actually done the loot from that one yet, so I might do that one on cam as well. Um, but let's just uh, very quickly, hostile creatures, let's turn those down a little bit because I think they're getting a little bit loud. Um, so we just got to find our way over to this dungeon and I'm trying to remember which way I went. I think through here because um, I just found it like quite naturally. I didn't have to mine for it or anything. Uh, and I can hear a skeleton around here somewhere. Uh, I can hear water which is always a bad combination. <laughs> oh there it is right there. Um, okay let's try and dig up into that um, and hopefully not die. So it sounds like a spider dungeon. Yep. <laughs> um, now Ideally, I don't want to destroy the spawner. Uh, I would like to keep that for the future uh, because we may make a farm here of sorts. I'm not sure if we'll really need it, but um, I don't know. I guess I'm just too vanilla. I hate to destroy spawners like at any time in the game. Um, so yeah, let's just like oh, hang on, let's block that off. 
I absolutely hate cave spiders. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's a cave spider spawner somewhere in there. And we'll just light up around here to try and prevent anything from spawning in this area, at least for now. Um, okay, so let's see what loot we get in these two. Uh, first one. Ooh, that's cool. Golden apple. That's also cool. The music disc. And some other things that are less cool. Um, so what I could do here is just have him... Oops, around the chest there, we can dump some stuff off that we don't really need. Um, and we can always come back for it at a later date. Um, I'll take the gunpowder actually, and also take the redstone. Okay, and this one, oh, what's this? Enchanted book, fire aspect two. Meh, that's okay. That's okay. Now, diamond horse armor, that's very cool. And another um, disc as well, so a couple discs there. They are the same one. Okay, great. <laughs> um, not the worst loop, not the best. Uh, quite happy with the golden apple though, that's cool. Um, I, Guess the name tag was the best thing because we can actually name our dog, uh, which is something I wanted to do. Um, so there we go. Um, showed you, oops, another spider who didn't get dealt with. Showed you a couple of things on camera there. Uh, that I, oh, there it is. I've been looking for this. Let's just get rid of this because they these guys keep getting me and it's just it's not really like doing any damage, which is annoying me. <laughs> um, certainly does a bit of damage when you destroy them. Um, let's just eat a pizza and heal right up. So as you can see, there's also like tons of ores around here, loads of iron. Uh, loads of rail as well, which is great, because we will definitely be needing a lot of that uh, soon. Um, so I'm going to carry on with the exploring. If anything else of interest comes up, then I will do another update. Um, so until then, it's bye for now. All right, guys. Well, I am just about done mining now, but I'm at the site of our other dungeon. So the one that we found before was, let's have a look over there. And uh, this was the one I was pointing to, so we're here now. Uh, I think it's, I blocked this off before, but it's just like up around here somewhere. I should actually put these like that. Um, okay, I should have checked this first. It's definitely here somewhere uh, in this area. There we go. There it is right there. Um, so, yeah, we're going to light this one up. Um, I can hear a lot of zombies, so I think it must be a zombie dungeon. Uh, I'm just trying to think the best way to attack this. I think what we'll do is we'll try to kind of get in a bit higher up so that I'm not uh, faced with too many of them right off the bat. Okay, here we go. Hmm, can't see anyone for a minute. And there's an annoying uh, thing here. A uh, bee. Oh, okay. I can hear a lot of zombies, but there's not many here. Oh, but more us <laughs> Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't mind the uh, zombies too much, just the baby zombies that really annoy me. Okay, so let's just light this area up a little bit around here. Try to get us up. Oh my goodness, double dungeon. Wow. Do you know how long it's been since I found one of those? Seriously, like, I mean, in vanilla or whatever, I haven't found one of those in so, so long. Uh, where you get two dungeons like this, this close together. So that is awesome. Ah, don't kill me. So that's probably why we could hear so many zombies. There's probably zombies in the other one as well. Um, just gonna drink this and start healing a second. I like that. Uh, okay, let's see, what have we got here? Ooh, what's this book? Aha. Uh, I don't really know what that does, <laughs> to be honest, but it sounds good. Another name tag, very cool. Um, I'll take that, I'll take that. Well, I'll just take everything for now. Um, what's in here? Oh, what's this thing? Pink rune. What can we do with that? I don't know. Uh, saddle, that's useful. Um, oh. ah. <laughs> get away from me. Um, okay, let's get this in here. Uh, what was it about this one? Uh, a little bit of iron and gold. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Um, oh, is that a... Another abandoned mine shaft there. It is. Aha, uh -huh. that's very cool. So another place to loot in the future. Um, I should probably set a waypoint here, but meh, I'll do it in a minute. I wanna have a little look in here. Oh, well, this is a spider spawner actually, okay. Can't hit any spiders at all. Um, oh, I'm lagging. Hopefully nothing's like spawning and killing me right now. Um, okay, so let's see what's in these chests. Um, thorns two, that's oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, it's not great. It's not too bad. And in this one. Oh, some more diamond horse armor. And a bit of redstone. Okay, well, that's that's okay. That's pretty cool. Um, so I just wanted to do that on camera in case we've got anything really cool. Uh, we kind of didn't. I mean, the name tag's good. But I actually was having a look earlier. And uh, I should have figured this out. I should have realized this before. Uh, let me just really quickly do a waypoint here. Uh, new one, mine shaft two, save and turn it off for now, I think. 
But yeah. Um, so I was having a look before at something that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, just want to get out of here, basically, so that I know I'm safe. And what I'll do is I'll just put that down uh, like that, so we can see there's something through there. Uh, so if we go over here, let's have a look at, oh, I already had it there, the anvil recipe, right? Um, which is basically this. So the block of iron, you know, it's not too bad, but these iron plates, which we need like a metal press for, or a compactor, or a compressor, or basically just a machine that we don't yet have. Um, and I'm not even going to get into that. But um, yeah, so making a name tag, well, you know, we got the name tags, but actually naming them is not as easy as we would hope. Um, however, um, that's not really, you know, that's more of like a, just a fun thing to do. So not the end of the world, but yeah, we won't be naming the dog or anything else <laughs> for just a little bit of time. All right, so that was it for the mining trip. I'm about done. I'm just going to go home now, get everything into one place and show you guys what kind of loot we got. All right, guys, well, we are here back at the base. As you can now see, the mining is uh, is done for now. And we've got quite a lot of stuff going on here. So we've got tons of redstone, as you can see. Uh, we've got a few diamonds, uh, lots of gold, 58 left, which is brilliant. Um, and obviously a few other things in there. What I'm most excited about though is this. Look at all that coal, that's just awesome. And then all of this iron as well. So that's really, really cool. The other thing I'm quite excited about is this moonstone. Um, if I go to the uses of this, you'll see that it makes uh, it's used in the making of ethereal glass and ineffable glass. Now, I can't remember which one's which, but one of these only allows mobs to pass through and not players, and the other one only allows players to pass through and not mobs. So you could have a complex with all of the glass surrounding it, and you could light up the inside so that mobs couldn't spawn, and then anything that spawned outside wouldn't be able to get in, but you'd be able to just run in. You wouldn't need doors. You could just run in from any location, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, you only get like, uh, let's go back there a second. You only get uh, eight, isn't it, per moonstone. And I just found one of these moonstones when I was out and about. So I'm not sure, you can craft them using diamonds and some of this stuff. We're not really at that stage yet, but um, in the future we will be. So that's gonna be cool, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, and then, as I say, just all of this, uh, this iron and this coal is brilliant. So I actually wanted to take a load of this coal um, because I wanna start powering up some of our generators in a second, which uh, we'll come on to. Um, but basically, I wanted to do this next quest, the sawmill. Uh, the reason being is, as it says here, uh, the sawmill allows you to get four planks per log, so that's going back to like the vanilla standards instead of just the two per log that we're getting at the moment. Um, and also allows you to unlock planks from non-vanilla logs as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to need the RF though, which is why I've got the coal, because I did a bit of work on our workshop uh, off camera. Um, and basically, uh, we're going to get that set up uh, properly now with the, the power sources. So... If, you, uh, if I show you in here, you'll see that uh, we've got all of our machines set up, our survival and our coal generators are in here. So let's chuck a stack of that in there, a stack of that in there. So we're going to have tons of power going on here, uh, and then it's supplying the different machines. I've got a sink there with water in, that's just for when the carpenter needs topping up, as in fact it does right now. So, wait, what? Oh, I think I uh, accidentally <laughs> took out of it. That's okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, so that's useful. I've left some space in between the machines for now, just because... Uh, you need to put down fluid tanks and things sometimes. This one here as well is so that we can use that whenever we need to. Um, but yeah, so I think this is a nice little setup for now. It's certainly enough for what we need. And the next thing to put in here is going to be this sawmill to complete this quest and also so we can get the wood going on. And I actually prepared this off camera. So if we just run out here to our little uh, crafting station, you'll see here the sawmill is ready to go. So the, the recipe is not too bad. Um, a little bit fiddly with making a few gears and things, but... Yeah, nothing too much. It was mainly the axes, actually, that just take a long time to make. But there we go. We have our sawmill, and that will complete the quest. Aha, so let's claim our reward. We get a loot chest. Let's see what we get for that. Uh, we get some acacia wood. Okay, uh, that's not too bad, I suppose. I'm just thinking because I don't think I've actually seen any acacia wood yet, so that could be useful. Um, so we want to hook this up, our sawmill. Uh, that could just go on the end there, I suppose, but we're going to need some flux ducts. And I'm actually going to get some wood as well to be going on with. Uh, do I not have any flux ducts in here? I thought I did. Okay, I might need to make some of those up in a second if they're not in here either. Uh, right, okay. I, I thought I had some spares, and I'm sure that I do somewhere. Uh, but never mind, we can see about this. Oh, really? They're more difficult to make than I actually thought. Ah, huh, okay. Um, I'll probably make those off camera then, because there's not going to be uh, the most fun for you guys to watch. But we're progressing through the quests quite nicely. As you can see here, this next one, uh, the um, let's just click on that a second. So the the power basically is what we need to make, and the display stands for that. 
Um, I'm keen to do this, but I think I'll do this in a new episode, uh, just because um, there's going to be a bit of setup for that. And I may, so I may do that in here and just section off like a corner of the room just for that, or I may even do it in another place. I'm not 100% yet. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll come back to that basically. And uh, the only other thing that I wanted to do this episode was to name the workshop. So to everyone who submitted a name, thank you very much. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go off cam. I'm going to make up these flux ducts, get the sawmill up and running, name the workshop, and then come back and finish up the episode then with the name. Uh, so BRB. Guys, we are back and the workshop has officially been named. So without any further ado, I present to you the Busy Bee Workshop. Um, so congratulations to Green Lee Tube and thank you very much for your submission. I really like this name for a few reasons. Um, one, Busy Bee is just a good name for a workshop. So we're hopefully going to be Busy Bees ourselves in here doing things. Um, two, because bees are obviously a part of this mod pack. Um, so that's kind of cool as well. It kind of ties into that. I also like the fact that that was spelt with a Z instead of like an S, like busy. And it's like buzzy, busy kind of bee workshop thing, right? Like I thought that was pretty cool. So I like that very much. Um, I might have to see if I can get like a little item frame or something up here with a bee in it or something uh, just to kind of theme it. But yeah, so that was cool. Uh, so that's now officially the Busy Bee Workshop. Uh, so thank you very much for your submission. Um, and in here, I've done the, the flux ducts and I've got our sawmill all connected up. So now if we chuck our cherry wood in here, um, that's actually pretty fast processing time as well. There we go. We get four for each one and we also get some sawdust, uh, which we can use in the crafting of paper. Um, in this phyto grow stuff, what else can we do with it? Uh, don't know what most of this stuff does, but I'm sure it will have its uses. So yeah, basically, um, this is now a much better system because we're dub we've just doubled our our wood production basically by doing this. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that. Uh, this thing's running quite nicely, as you can see. Our, our generators are running well, and I've got a load of spare coal in there for later as well. Uh, what's happening with this one then? Aha. Uh -huh guess the system is oh okay that's because there's no fluid that's why it's saying can't work but the actual power side of things yeah we're pretty much uh, full here so this is cool um the only thing i would like to do is can we output i think we can output right um which i will need to like set up but let's get rid of that a second so that carries on but if we could auto output into like a chest that was here, that would be pretty cool. So I'll probably look to set that up, but the, the machine's working and that's the main thing. Um, so I'll let that carry on with what it's doing. So yeah, guys, um, we have that set up now. We've got the quest uh, pretty much done. And I think that'll be all that I do today. I wanted to do a bit of a shorter episode today because uh, the last episode obviously ran on quite a while. Uh, we've named the workshop, we've done some mining, we've got the sawmill going on, so I think that's all pretty good for an episode and uh, a nice shorter one to do. So as always guys, thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.